A one-year-old is dead. Police say killed at the hands of his mother's boyfriend. Tonight, the community gathered to wrap their arms around baby Jaden's family. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt. His accused killer is in jail tonight, while friends, family, and those who know what it's like to lose a child remember Jaden and mourn the loss of a life taken too soon. It's hard to find the words. So this group shares tears, lights candles. We ask you now to console this family and to bless them. And praise together in memory of baby Jaden. He was my beautiful grandson. So hard to know that his life was cut so short. Jaden was just 14 months old when police responded to his home in Northeast Albuquerque Monday. Officers found several bruises on the baby boy, reportedly caused by being struck in the head. Jaden lie unresponsive. It's very hard right now because I'm so used to my grandson walking in that door and he's not coming back. The one-year-old's mom told detectives she went to work and left him with her boyfriend, 29-year-old Jorge Ortega. Ortega was arrested for child abuse. It's cases like this that hit too close to home for a group of people here. It breaks my heart for that family because I know they have a long road. Tracy Sylvia is with Grandmas on a Mission, women of murdered grandkids. Their mission, to stop child abuse. Sylvia's granddaughter was killed more than three years ago. Our statement is we will not be silenced until it doesn't hurt to be a child. Her group is among friends and family tonight as they shared stories of Jaden's short life. A boy with an infectious smile who loved monkeys. His loved ones pray Jaden won't be forgotten. We love you, Jaden. Fly high, baby, fly high. Services for baby Jaden will take place next week in Gallup, New Mexico. Then the family plans to bury him near the New Mexico border in Arizona, where the family is originally from. Back to you. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. Detectives believe Ortega was drunk. He's still in jail on a $500,000 bond.